Good morning guys. So here in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how do we do a calibration of our Metelier Toledo pH meter. So this is where the instrumentation is and we need to have a beaker, distilled water and of course to do calibration of pH meter, we need some pH buffer. right? So before you do anything, make sure that your PPE is on, make sure you have your gloves with you, your safety goggles and of course lab coat, lab coat covered shoes, right? long pants that covers and and socks that covers your ankles. All right, so the buffers are actually located right in front of you above over here. Right, so I've placed the buffer. There's three of them. Let's examine them carefully. So we have the pH 4.01 and we have the pH 9.21 and we got the buffer for pH Seven, all right. And what is this solution here? This is actually your 3.0 molar KCL, which is used to store the pH probe. Take note that inside the pH probe, there must be a solution that you have to submerge this in. If not, it will deteriorate over time. Notice how this probe here, right? You must always put in to a three molar KCL. Okay. So before you do any instrumentation measurement for your sample. We need to do calibration, right? So press and turn on. You see it's already on. Now take out this casing slowly. Just rotate out. Be very gentle. This is quite fragile. So rotate out. Right, rotate. Alright. And place on one side this part here, pH broke. We wash it first with DR water. Spray some DR water at the probe here. Okay, then put it back at the casing. Next, we use a piece of Kim wipe. Fold into halves, right? And then lift up the arm at this position. Lift up the arm and hover around it. Just dry it. Bottom part just dab gently, right? Right, and then next we press calibration. So this is cal calibration. Press cal, and we start with pH seven. pH seven. Right. So that's the buffer. We will put the arm inside there. Now you notice that during this calibration, this probe here, the sphere, mustn't have any bubbles around it. So it should be fully submerged into the pH buffer. And what you do is you watch at the panel. Do you see this part here? Do you see this part here? This A here means it's still calibrating. It's still waiting for result. You see this circle? That means the instrument is still doing its job. So just hold on. If it's done, it will show another signal. Watch out for this part. Now, the best thing you do is right actually to place the buffer inside here. And I do not hold it because my hands is warm, so we know that pH is affected by temperature change. Yeah, you see that there's an indication of temperature. So take note of this temperature when you measure your pH and also during calibration. All right, so now you hear the sound. There's this signal here, the line, and it's not flashing, not blinking. That means it's done for this pH. So now you lift it up. Okay, of course, cap back your solution. Put it back inside the stand. And now, of course, same thing again. You repeat the washing because there's some stains of the previous buffer of the pH. So just spray around. Okay, and next one, use a piece of clean white. Fill into two, yeah. And just wipe around it, be very careful. Dab on the probe. Okay, do not use too much force. Do not use too much force. Right, be very gentle with this. Next, you go for pH 4. Same thing, put the arm down. Okay, if you see there's bubbles, right, there's surrounding the probe, you have to shake this vial to allow the bubbles to come out. So I do not want to give some heat to the solution. 
I will just leave it stand. All right. If you find that it is not stable, you can actually use another beaker, a small beaker, to hold this in place. So, so now you press Cal Calibration 2. Again, it's detecting. Now, meanwhile, let me just show you these two vials, right? The big one, of course, this pH probe can fit inside as I've shown you. But what about the small one? The small one is able to just nice make sure that the pH probe enters it. But of course, if you have some bubbles here, that means you cannot shake it. There's no space for them to just get rid of the bubble. So we'll advise you to just stick to the larger valve, this kind, all right? So again, let's wait for it. Wait for this pH to be calibrated. Okay, now you hear the sound, right? Good. So pH 4.01, that's exactly the same pH as what it's supposed to be. Good. So again, do the same thing. Pull up the arm gently, and then tap your buffer solution, put it back to the stand, and the repetition of the steps here again. So rinse it with the DIY water, okay, around and on the probe, okay, and then it's a kim wipe, fold into half, wipe, we out if you need space, okay? This pH probe is flexible. The arm is, so be very careful, okay? Be gentle. Good. So next, we'll test the last pH calibration, pH 9.21. Open the cap, push down the arm, okay? And look out for bubbles. There shouldn't be any bubbles here. All the way down, move your hands away so there's no heat there. And after that, press calibration again. Okay, good. It's 9.21. This time it's very fast. Okay, it's all done. So good. Now you remove the probe from the pH solution. Okay, put it back to the stand. And before you measure the pH of the sample, again, don't forget to rinse it with distilled water, deionized water. All right. So, King Y. That's okay. I'll be very careful. This is very delicate. Okay, good. So now, let's say I have a sample of solution I want to measure. So this is all done, right? We click exit. Okay, good. Again, note the temperature change. Just now it was 24.9, now it's 24.8. Now this is my unknown solution. I'm going to place it, right, my pH probe inside there. Okay, make sure the liquid doesn't spill over. It doesn't flow over. Okay, and then once I'm ready, I'll click read. This button here in green, read. So it's detecting. Okay, again, get to wait for this signal to confirm the exact pH. Very accurate. Make sure that this A is not flashing before you can take down the reading. There should be a sound. But if the light's too noisy, just watch out for this flashing A. You see now what happens? The temperature increased. So always take note of the temperature that you record your pH reading. Note the date also and time. This pH meter, try to use it for homogeneous solution. If you have some solid, it is recommended not to use it because you have some solid that stains on the exterior surface of the pH probe that can affect the reading. But let's say, unfortunately, you have noticed there's some solid on the, on the surface of this pH probe, please inform the engineer record down in the logbook so that we know what to follow up for. Okay, and after performing any usage of this instrument, you can always have to record on this logbook here. Just place right above this orange logbook, pH meter. All right, open it, read instructions, activity column. This, okay, calibration, usage, maintenance. So in this case, I did a calibration and of course demonstration. So today's date is the 9th of September. 2016, uh, time is, time is 8.48 a.m. This is calibration, calibration plus demon 
registration and put video okay heard the sound just now so that means now the reading is recorded you see it's not flashy anymore ph of my unknown solution is 6.71 okay good so in this case you see that now this is icon here that says store that means right in case you're measuring many ph you can't copy down because your hands are not free you can store it first so this reading will be safe and later you can even export this data by using a thumb drive at the back here there's a usb port at the back of this ph meter okay so my username and this is okay all right okay very good and see for data you can actually export to usb stick at the back there as i said just now so after you're done please put this book back over here and if you're still not sure there are instructional manuals over here please feel free different languages no excuse if you can't read them and most importantly after you have measured it you need to do some housekeeping right rinse the ph probe with di water once more so that the next user will have it clean right we do not want to see our ph probe and ph meter to be dirty when we use it isn't that right so again be gentle uh, wipe it and what's next you have to put it back to the three molar kcl to preserve it okay so here just wiggle it in yeah, make sure there's no bubbles it's fully submerged so if you need to top up the solution in the future please you know where to get it from here all right just then we put back the buffer at this location uh, if you are done for the day you, you can turn off the ph meter but let's say you're at the midday noon time you do not have to turn it off because it takes about half an hour to restart the machine again so that the next user can just do it immediately stay safe and enjoy mm -hmm.